goods more prone to the poisonings and especially the plant poisoning onion poisoning is rare in farm animals but uh, sheep and goat also there are reports of several cases of onion poisoning um, particularly from the onion growing areas of different states of our country, our country. so the typical clinical signs uh, they include the partial anorexia usually there is no complete anorexia in a patellus is there animals are slightly dull and depressed there is a rapid heart rate and rapid respiration the typical is a pale conjunctivity and most important feature is a red urine which is a, animals they pass a coffee colored urine not it is not a typical red like a blood blackish coffee colored or urine this is very typical and the mucous membranes are pale and usually there is a constipation uh, and uh, there is straining while defecation so we can diagnose a case of onion poisoning based on history of feeding of onions or onion leaves both both can cause poisoning history of feeding of onions maybe in a more quantity for a short period or a small quantity or a long period both possibilities are there generally feeding of onions for 2 to 3 days or sometimes for 4 to 5 days may lead to onset of symptoms uh, then the how to treat the cases of onion poisoning we have developed the line of treatment for time and uh, actually a feeding of onion is to be discontinued onion leaves or onion that is most important aspect of the treatment the then we'll have to give the antioxidant because oxidant radicals like n dipropyl sulfide uh, the disulfide n propyl disulfide like uh, oxidant radicals they are responsible for oxidation of hemoglobin and formation of hench body hemolytic anemia so that can be stopped by giving antioxidants any antioxidant can be used this is the rational behind using vitamin e and selenium as well as ascorbic acid i have used both treatment and both antioxidants are equally effective injection vitamin e selenium can be given at the rate of 1 ml per 25 kg body weight subcutaneously or intramuscularly depending upon the preparations available and uh, then ascorbic acid 20 mg per kg intravenously it is easily available everywhere it is available even vitamin e selenium preparations like a uh, uh isenium and reperanol they are also available uh, so those preparations can be very well used for the management of uh, the poison uh, this onion poisoning this is to be given for 3 to 5 days usually 3 to 4 days treatment is sufficient very rarely fifth dose is required otherwise this is okay then you have to correct anemia also by giving uh, preparations uh, hematinics for a goat or sheep you can give a 10 ml 10 g of uh, sarcopenol on a regular basis again a protein supplements can be given uh, like a khurak like preparations uh, uh, for anemic animals they can be given injection b complex uh, is to be given regularly maybe for 5 to 7 days and mineral mixtures should be given on a regular basis it's a 10 to 15 gram for a goat as uh, sufficient so so this is the line of treatment to be used in onion poisoning so each and every animal suffering from onion poisoning can be very well saved because we get time to treat the case and this treatment works very nicely Uh, then lantana camera toxicity is the another biggest problem under the field condition the asian poisoning due to acacia uh, leucofloia is one of the problem under the field conditions during the summer season whereas lantana camera is the problem during the rainy season and maybe in the beginning of rainy season or even during the rainy season so lantana camera is a hardy shrub and it is spread all over india in almost all parts of our country it is there and mostly on a hilly areas it is there hot prone area it is also very calm there are different varieties having white flowers uh, white flowers or maybe a pink flowers or red flowers usually a red variety is dangerous it accumulates more uh, you can say the lantadin actually the toxic principal of lantana camera is lantadin and uh, this lantadin is hepatotoxic it is hepatotoxic and uh, which causes uh, hepatic damage uh, followed by a photosensitivity i have seen cases in a sheep and goat and i have seen uh, even mortality in many goats in maharashtra due to uh, lantana camera toxicity during the rainy season number of animals number of goats they die because of uh, lantana camera toxicity what are the signs observed in a lantana camera toxicity in a sheep and goat generally you see initially there is a swelling of the face region ears are swollen eyelids are swollen even the uh, face whole face is a uh, face face appears to be swollen means it is edematous in nature 
and the itching starts the irritation starts there is a lacrimation and because of irritation to the eyes again there may be a conjunctivitis and uh, within a two or three days uh, you see the sloughing of the skin may start the uh, gangrene of the ears uh, that may start also and there is a sloughing of skin from the ears and head and face region even from the nostrils also here you can see how this uh, there is a sloughing of the skin you can see this uh, eyelids and uh, here also, even in large animals, we have seen that uh, such a type of lesions will develop. But in large animals on body, they develop. Whereas in case of sheep and goat, the lesions, they are mostly restricted to the head and face region. Because you know where the, uh, the wool is also absent and they, uh, even uh, that part may be getting more exposed because of a short hairs, may be exposed to the sunlight and the photosensitization is more marked over the head and face region. But that's the observation. And uh, uh, the sloughing of the skin occurs, gangrene may develop, and uh, there is a delayed uh, healing of the wound. And therefore, prompt treatment is necessary in the if the cases are treated in the initial stage, uh, there is a dramatic recovery, there is an excellent recovery, and you can check the mortality to the great extent. That's our observation. So, in beginning, what to do? Once you diagnose, just you have to you have to make a diagnosis based on the history of uh, grazing in a new area and presence of uh, uh, this lantana camera, lantana camera, uh, shrubs in the field, grazing land. Where the uh, generally I have seen that uh, uh, in the beginning of the um, you can see the monsoon when the grasses are not available properly available and uh, uh, you see this uh, this particular uh, shrub is uh, uh, very green and uh, very attractive and therefore the animals they are getting attracted towards it. Uh, and uh, the, the, there is no, you can say, availability of uh, maybe a green fodder. And therefore, they are, uh, you see, ingesting and uh, eating uh, the, uh, you see, this particular plant, the use of this particular plant. And a very small quantity of even uh, ingestion of a lantadine. A lantana camera leaves can lead to a toxicity. And again, I have seen during September, October also, or maybe in August months also, when the rainfall is a continuous. In that case also, the animals, they may ingest uh, these, uh, uh, you can say, the plants. And goats, uh, usually, uh, they, they are eating more right, compared to the other animals and they, they are suffering from this. So how to treat the cases? You will have to give a fluid therapy. Generally, I used to give the dextrose 5% immediately, maybe a 500 ml to 1 liter, maybe twice on a first day and uh, then second and third day. Usually, three days fluid therapy is good. And then you have antibiotics to prevent the complications due to sloughing of the skin. Then antihistaminics we are giving the, that will reduce the itching and irritation and uh, will avoid even for the spilling of the skin, sloughing of the skin. B-complex preparation will rejuvenate the animal. Liver tonics are required. Liver to extract will be complex can be given and oral herbal liver tonics they are to be continued for 15 to 20 days the rest of the treatment can be given for five days three to five days treatment can also help in here you can see the recovery of the animals very rarely if the cases are not treated in the initial stage they may, they may need a few more days for the treatment for recovery that is about the lantana camera toxicity then the datura stramonium datura poisoning can sometimes occur I have recorded uh, in the beginning of my career a, a, a very rare case of uh, datura poisoning in a goat. And uh, this datura plant is, is uh, usually not uh, eaten or it is not being consumed by the ruminants. But excellently, if it is being consumed, then it may lead to a toxicity and that is responsible for a dryness of mouth. It produces a science just like atropinization, atropin toxicity. Hyosiamine, it contains alkaloids like hyosiamine and scopolamine. And there is a dryness of the mouth. So tongue is very much dry, nostrils they are dry. So dryness is there, madras is dilatation of the pupil is there. And the disturbed vision, restlessness, muscular spasms and nervous signs may develop antidote is neostigma. So neostigma can be given. Neostigma uh, can be very well uh, uh, given as an antidote. Uh, and digipalm can be given to control the, uh, you can see the convulsions or a nervous signs. Generally, a fluid therapy solves the problem, even if new stigma is not available.
but you can give a new stigmine at the dose rate of 5 mg per 45 kg body weight. So each ml of uh, prostigmine neostigmine injection contains 0.5 milligram of neostigmine. That is sufficient. I actually manage the case with uh, simply a fluid therapy and market. Thank you.